Okay, give me, I was, I was filming you here. So I am packing for my first multi-pitch summit attempt. Uh, last summer, my partner and I did our first rated route to a summit. And even though we brought a rope, that actually kind of turned into a surprise free solo. Um, and anyway, this year I promised myself I was going to get out there and get some more technical peaks in. And unfortunately, after the complete and total skunking on the Palisades. That's ice right there. That has not happened yet. And since I used almost all of my PTO for that trip, I realized if I'm going to keep that goal, I'm gonna to have to do something entirely out of character, which is a day hike um, with a short approach where we can possibly have beers at the end of the day, where there's a lot of beta on the route. Um, you know, do something crazy where we might actually have fun on the trip. But uh, I know, totally out of character. But anyway, we narrowed down the surge to a couple of options. Um, and then from there, we actually chose probably one of the most popular, easiest routes you can do um, in the technical arena. So anyway, packing up and super excited. Uh, we head out in the next couple of days and it's gonna be an awesome weekend. With the list that was increasingly narrowed based on our experience and desire to nail something before the season's end, we ended up choosing Tanaya Peak a 5-5 route offering 14 pitches of consistent smooth slab climbing. This choice also opened up the unique opportunity to stay in the adjacent Yosemite Valley, a place I hadn't been to since I was still just a backpacker. I was excited to see it for the first time with a climber's eye, and when we arrived, it definitely didn't disappoint.
after being reminded why I never stay in developed campgrounds. We finally got started a little later than I wanted and made our way to the trailhead. Once there, and then just maybe within 20 minutes, we already found ourselves at the base of the first pitch. So we are at the base of the route. Uh, we are a little behind schedule today. So we're gonna attempt to solo the first couple of pitches and see if that gets us ahead of schedule again. Uh, but anyway, we're here and I'm freaking stoked. Around pitch four, we ran into a couple struggling with simul climbing, who were nice enough to let us pass. However, we were nearing the end of our comfort zone, and I figured it was best to rope up before we found that we had exceeded it. So a little spot for you right here. Sounds good. Glory shot. <laughs> oh yeah. Sweet. Right. Are you guys gonna pitch it out? Uh, or are you sign like? I don't know. I just I'm not sure what I want to do. Like, yeah. Or not? I don't know. Yeah. Because then the thing is, it's like mm -hmm. if you get stuck and then you're just sitting there. While it had been fun to climb with others. At this moment, we were running into the dark side of popular routes. This conversation was our two teams figuring out what to do with the team ahead of us, who had taken almost two hours to progress through a single pitch. Yeah, what are you, you going to do if there's a good viable way past them? Yeah. But if you can't, then it sucks because you're just... And I definitely think if we try to like... As a quick aside, researching this route was pretty difficult. Since cameras tend to flatten everything, it was hard to figure out what sustained incline we could actually expect. This clip from Greg shows exactly this phenomenon, with the final frame finally showing the incline we were actually moving up on. Six, eight, ten.
Top of the pitch, Greg. Almost top of the climb. Yep. Good lead, Almost. sir. I really, I really question the fourth class rating right there. <laughs> <laughs> we could have been off route. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, thanks again, sir. Yep, no worries. Once on the summit, we looked back at our route that had taken the majority of the day. We were tired after the day's long adventure, but still also had a long descent back to the car, with sundown fast approaching. And most importantly, we needed to get back to the valley before the pizza kitchen closed. enjoyed this adventure. It takes a lot of effort planning these trips, then making sure to film, all while trying to also live in the moment. If you've enjoyed this film and want to support me, it helps a lot to subscribe and share on any social media platform you use. Additionally, if you want to support the channel and bring the adventure home with you, I've recently opened an online store where you can purchase still images from almost all my past movies in canvas, print, metallic, or acrylic. Just click into the video description below and look for the link that says canvas prints. That's it for this time. I hope you come back and join me on the next journey.